assalamu alaikum uh, dear students i hope this video finds you very well and today i am here to tell you that we have compiled a very comprehensive and concise guide regarding the paper of assistant agriculture engineer this paper is, con is to be conducted through sin public service commission and uh, though you know the, both the agriculture and civil engineers are applicable for this post therefore uh, most of the students have an, an ambiguity that whether which portion we must uh, prepare for the post of assistant agriculture engineer whether we must cover the hydrology and water storage structure subject or we must cover irrigation and drainage subject or we must cover design of hydraulic structure subject or we must cover agricultural engineering aspects so actually this is 50-50 <coughs> situation where there the three two questions will be from civil engineering and four questions will be from uh, agricultural engineering or four questions from agriculture or four questions from civil engineering and three questions from agriculture engineering but you know that uh, um, design of hydraulic structures and uh, hydrology and water storage structures and irrigation and drainage these all the all these three subjects are intern uh, are intensified and are interconnected with the field of agriculture engineering because you know um, various agriculture practices are involved in irrigation and drainage subject therefore through this guide you will be capable of creating, creating this exam very easily because you all you all have a professional degree and you all have very sound knowledge that main thing is that you must have very much con very clear concepts and terminology of the both subjects therefore we are here to describe the features of this guide so let's move so the first feature of this guide is that the guide is very concise and easy almost this guide contains 30 to 34 pages and uh, later on this guide is prepared by both the, the combined efforts of civil and agriculture engineers as a, as a result of which you will cover both the aspects of civil engineering and agriculture engineering in this guide that will help you in the examination of assistant agriculture engineer later on the another uh, uh, feature of this guide is uh, this is not a conventional guide this actually covers the modern agricultural approaches and modern irrigation methods which will be eco-friendly eco and which will be environment uh, sorry eco-friendly along with economic uh, eco economic <coughs> and cost benefit will be included in these methods therefore you will learn about the modern irrigation methods and agricultural methods which will be cost effective and uh, water efficient and eco-friendly right and later on there is numerical related to agriculture and irrigation like uh, after how much days you should provide water to the crops or how much the uh, or how much water convenience efficiency is available over there or in this regard you will learn and uh, the numerical related to the field capacity and you will learn the water efficiencies and I will also suggest you in the last page or in the initial pages that which topics you must cover regarding uh, for the questions if you do not have prepared these questions you will learn how to correct the examination through a mysterious approach right so let's move on the topics covered in this guide so first of all i have covered the basic uh, basics of the uh, of the post that what is the role of agricultural and irrigation engineers in agriculture development through this topic you will learn that what kind of roles what kind of activities you are here to perform in order to clarify your concepts and regarding the duties and the objectives of agriculture and irrigation engineer later on you will learn about the modern methods of irrigation through which you will efficiently use water and cost effectively you will yield more and more from your economic uh, from your crops right uh, later on there is another thing that is uh, <clears throat> i have discussed two uh, major methods of uh, drip, uh, modern irrigation methods uh, these are known as drip irrigation method and sprinkler irrigation method through which you will able to come uh, through the deep comprehensive study of both of these topics you will able uh, you will be able, capable to analyze and compare both of the methods you will learn about the basic concepts of both methods merits and demerits of both right later on you will learn about climate smart agriculture you know what uh, recently devastating agricultural conditions are because of the catastrophic floods of 2022 in pakistan right so uh, and the consequences of which there are many consequences that have severely damaged the agriculture sector therefore we have here provided the features and best practices for climate smart agriculture for both uh, the climate of uh, colder aspect and the drought conditions right 
and later on there is agriculture and water resources in pakistan through this topic you will learn the what are the major resources of water available in pakistan and what season through what sources and how we extract these sources and how much these and how these all the sources are helpful in agriculture in pakistan right later on there is approachment approaches of water management and through this topic you will learn about the integrated water resource management through which you will learn also the what are the main practices through which uh, we can conserve the water resources and efficiently apply this for the agriculture purposes and through with this uh, this topic also covers the canal line canal methods of of uh, conserving of conservation for conservation of water and also uh, non canal methods right and later on you learn about the water scarcity this is the major you know what this is topic which is also considered to be the reason of third world war right so this topic is the most important because agriculture in pakistan have always been the facing of water scarcity issues in drought conditions in summer weather right and uh, also you learn about the what are the solution of these uh, problems of water later on you will learn about the agriculture problems what are the agriculture problems in pakistan what kind of uh, threats they are posing to the economy of pakistan and uh, what are the causes behind decline declination of uh, sorry declining what are the causes that are posing the declining um, problems in agriculture sector and you will learn about the way forward and uh, most importantly i have added very much important strategies in this through which agriculture is directly interlinked with the uh, economic boost up right and later on i have covered and with my help with the help of a friend who is civil engineer i have covered very much important topics like what is relationship between soil water and crop right and also i have Uh, made this guide very much comprehensive for both the engineers and through which you will have find the very much important numericals of field capacity you will learn about the field capacity concepts of derivation and various numericals related to the field capacity also you will learn about the sustainable agriculture which is most important uh, topic of the century because the conventional agriculture has many much uh, uh, environmental impacts therefore the world is trying to shift towards the sustainable agriculture from conventional agriculture system also through this topic uh, you will uh, through the sky you will learn about the properties of soil what is the soil water and its movement mechanism and how many types of water are over there also basic concepts of water and plant relationship also <coughs> i will provide you through this guide the what uh, are the other topics you should cover uh, as apart from these 17 or 18 topics so that you can crack the examination easily thank you so much